So here is how you complete the square, the most common kind of completing the square, where you've got a quadratic, but the x squared has no number in front of it, so you've only got one x squared. And that kind of quadratic, when you complete the square, will turn into this kind of thing, x with some number all squared and some number over there. Uh, when you have the most more advanced version where you do have a number in front of the x squared in your quadratic, uh, when you're completing the square for it, it will turn into the same thing except for you will have a number in front of the bracket over here. Just so you know, p and q can be positive or negative, and you'll see in the answer um, an example of this in a minute. So let's start completing the square for this thing here, x squared minus 8x plus 7. The first stage is to just complete the square for the beginning of your quadratic, ignoring the number at the end. So that means we're going to complete the square for x squared minus 8x. How do you do that? Well, all you do is take the number in front of the x. We've got minus 8 over here. Half that minus 8 gives you minus 4. What do you do with the minus 4? Well, you simply stick it into two places, there and there. You're always going to have an x and a bracket and a squared business and a takeaway even. But you've got to put the minus 4, which we've got from halving this, here and there. So you've got x minus 4 all squared take away minus 4 squared. And that minus 4 squared, minus 4 times minus 4 is 16. So you take away 16. So completing the square for x squared minus 8x is x minus 4 all squared minus 16. You might ask, why? Why do you have to half this thing and stick it there and there? Well, I did do a video before this video to explain a lot of stuff, and it's a really good warm-up to this video, but I will quickly summarize uh, what I said there. Basically, when you expand or square this bracket out, x minus 4 all squared, you get x squared minus 8x plus 16. And uh, in that previous video, I explained how you do that, but... Um, yeah, so that's a bit too much, isn't it? x minus 4 all squared doesn't give you x squared minus 8x. It gives you x squared minus 8x plus 16. That's why you have to take away the square of this number, which is 16, basically. So you take away the 16, so this stuff equals this stuff. So anyway, we've completed the square for x squared minus 8x. It's this stuff here, x minus 4 all squared minus 16. But we really want to complete the square for the whole thing, including the plus 7. So let's put the plus 7 in there. And if you're going to put the plus 7 over there, you're going to have to add plus 7 over there onto this business that we got earlier on when you completed the square for x squared minus 8x. So that means this is equal to this. And if you simplify it, you get this. Minus 16 plus 7 is minus 9. So this looks like this, doesn't it? So uh, completing the square for this is this. And so our p ended up being minus 4 and the q ended up being minus 9. So completing the square for x squared minus 8x plus 7, it gives you x minus 4 all squared minus 9. 